everybody standing ovation back again with another break and two weeks ago it was upper deck release day and here we are back in 22 23 again with parker's champions a retro set this product is kind of cool it's a retro set as i just said it's got rookies and veteran content in it potential autographs of some of the veterans and again your 22 23 rookie checklist that still getting some life out of it let's see what a hobby box breaks down like Gonna have 20 packs, eight cards per pack. Uh, I should have four SPs. The 300 to 350 are the short prints. The first 25 are the rookies. The next 25 are the veterans. The mini parallels, the 51 Parker's retro redesign. And that, that should, I don't know, this, this is again, I'm not sure I like mini cards. A lot of people have been looking forward to this product. I think it's a good idea. But 22, 23, I don't know. I wish they had a save at 23, 24. Perhaps they'll do it again next year. This is the first time Parker's has put the, its name on a hobby product in quite a few years, actually. What was the last hobby Parker's box? I God, Really, I think it was the last time they did the Legends. And, uh, I don't know. It, I, it really escapes me. The fifth, well, 506, there was a Parker's product. I don't know. It's been a while. This is a retro product, though. So, yeah, I... Take a look at the back of the box. There you go. There's a whole bunch of different stuff in Parker's, but obviously with this being a retro product, it's the veteran autograph content that you really want to pull a nice rare low number to say Gretzky or I'm not sure if Lemieux's on the checklist. I haven't looked at the actual content checklist. But look at the product breakdown. Let's see what this year's Parker's is all about. 22-23 Parker's Champions. Starting us off with a Charlie McAvoy, which is very fitting because my last break ended well with a Charlie McAvoy insert. We'll have to, I won't spoil it because that break may not be up yet on the channel. Anyway, a veteran, veteran, Charlie McAvoy. Marit Sider, it's funny they call him a veteran. He's only got like two years in. There's a gray bordered, or silver bordered, I suppose. The easiest of all the parallels. Veteran parallel of Kopi, Kopitar. And here we go with a wire photo. Fifth, no, it's a 50s flashback. Insert card. First time on an x-ray machine demonstrates the moving picture process. Interesting, you can see the hockey puck right there that he swallowed. Here's Claude Giroux with the Panthers. Hey, they got him, uh, yeah. Not with the Senators yet, but anyway, we got Dylan Strome. Yeah, this is 22-23, so they're all on the wrong jersey still. Jared Spurgeon and Evgeny Kuznetsov. Strome's with the Capitals, Kuznetsov's with the Panthers, or, or the Hurricanes. But Kopitar's still the captain of L.A. And yeah. Okay, pack two. Starting off with Bordelow, Kadri, Grey Border Roslovic, Jack Quinn, rookie. First rookie, second rookie, because I had the Bordelow, skip it. Jack Quinn, Nuge, McLeod, Slavin, and Kessel. Well, based on the product information, I'm already exceeding my expectations for rookie content, because I got two in a pack. Well, one of them is a short print rookie, and the other is not. I guess that's what happens there. So there's only 25 of the rookies are short prints. Okay, I, I, you just have to wait and see which ones are. Of course they'd make a set with both base rookies and short print rookies. What's up with that? Mikko Rantanen, Kirill Kaprizov. There's a Evan Rodriguez. You don't see a lot of cards of him in products, but there he is. Evan Rodriguez, gray bordered veteran. We got down at the back, we got Bertuzzi, Doughty, Sagan, and Hellebuck. With a wire photo, no, again, this one's Kirill Kaprizov. Maybe it is a wire, it is a wire photo. Kaprizov becomes the first Minnesota Wild skater in franchise history to pass 100 points in a season when he assisted on Ryan Hartman's second period goal in Minnesota's 6-3 whole win over Seattle on April 22nd, 2022. Facts right there for you, wire photos. Maybe I say I had a wire photo actually not too long ago. There's an old wire photo from Portfolio, which was the last product to mimic, I guess, what Parkhurst is doing now, I guess. Okay, we got a bobber. 
We'll get a red border. Victor Olofsson, Ned Elkovich, Kalorn, Brian Rust, Bobber, Chase Pearson's rookie, uh, gray bordered Vic Victor Hedman. That's a not short print rookie, Chase Pearson, who plays hockey in Europe now. And a red bordered number to 51, Simon Holst Holmstrom, rookie. Some good rookie content there, short print or low numbered at least. Of a guy who's actually played the whole season with the Islanders. He's Holmstrom's on their roster. 40, to, 40 of 51. Hard to get values of these right off the bat, product on release day, but I don't know, number out of 51 rookies, kind of cool. This pack feels heavier than the last. And there's a mini in there, a little baby card. The first retro. A. M. Austin Matthews. D. Boss. Andrej Kass. Again, another guy you don't see a lot of cards of. Maple Leafs. Victor Hedman. Jack Lafontaine, rookie. The gray bordered veteran of Svesh. Wow, an autograph. Owen Power, mini rookie. Well, that's a good pull. There's a Jack Petrie. Hard sign card, Owen Power, not numbered, but. Who cares? It's a little miniature parky, Owen Power. I'll have to check on uh, some other website. I know Cardboard Connection isn't as update as to their checklist anymore. Whether that's on the package site or not, I don't know. And I don't have any baby mini penny sleeves for these. It's actually the very first time I've ever pulled any Owen Power autograph ever. Of all the products that have come out in 22, 23, and I ripped through them all. And my first Owen Power autograph is on a little tiny parky card. I like these. Cool. Forgot to mention the price point of this box. I bought these in downtown Vancouver, so I paid a bit of a premium on this box. It was $190 all in. I, think I like the guy I got them off of, but yeah, it's a little tough paying the rent in Vancouver, it seems, because the prices are definitely higher than they are on Vancouver Island. Holy cow. Swayman, Kalia Shanok, and a gray border Tanner Pearson. You're a check. Zuccarello. That's a short print rookie. You're a check is. Duclair, McMichael, and Verhage. So there's one autograph per box, perhaps a second one. But I haven't watched any of this getting ripped. I saw guys in the store with some packs open and took a look at a couple of cards, but I didn't want to look at it too closely and spoil the fun for myself. Josie Lafreniere, Jack Quinn, rookie card, gray bordered. And, uh, ooh, that's a pretty Demko card of uh, veteran rainbow foil. Short print rookie, gray bordered. One of the pile there. One in seven packs for the Rainbow Foils, that's my first one. There's Shifley to Chuck Forsberg and Matt Duchesne with the Predators. Let's keep that looking clean, get my greasy paws on it. Demko's a popular player around these parts. Around these here parts. Thatcher Demko, having a great season too. Him and Hellebuck. Hellebuck, Demko, Aiden Hill. Great goalies. Speaking of Demko, there's another one. Okay, we got something hanging out the side here. Looks like my first die cut insert. Ratcliffe rookie. Gray border Ryan Strong. And there we go. Tomorrow's Riches. Die cut Quentin Byfield. It's a pretty insert. There is, I think, numbered versions of these two. Little treasure chest of Quentin Byfield popping out of it. How you doing? Monahan, Dubois, Stevenson, and Couturier. He got benched the other night. Captain of the Flyers, and he had to sit out and watch his team play because he has like one goal in 28 games or something. I don't know. Not having a career year. There we go. Byfield. That could insert. You're going to get four inserts all together. I'm not sure. I didn't sleeve up my wire photo or 50s flashback. I just sort of chucked him aside. I mean, it's an x-ray and a black and white real card. Not that exciting. Look at the prettiness of that 
die cut card. If you're gonna die cut a card, that's why you do it. You make it look like something. Sometimes they just chop them out like a lure. I mean, what the heck is that shape? It's it's a it's it's, it's just a a goal light. I don't know. It's just a random shape they punched out. Okay, here we go with Kyle Connor, Willie, Willie, Collie Shinock. My pile of pile of cards there. Rookie. Oh, got another mini. Silver mini. Shifley. Retro. Kind of a blank back, but it's not blank back, but the number's on the front somewhere on there. R15 in the Barky Hockey Series. Cool. Mini. Little baby card. Ehlers, Batherson, Debrusque, and Osh. Oshi. 20, 20 packs in a box. Holy cow. I'm going to be here all day. It's like upper deck hobby boxes. They only give you 12 and artifacts 8. Well, Peachy's only 15. Huge box. 20 packs. Oh my gosh. Hollander and Galvis. Two rookies back to back. Another one. A short prints. Troy Terry. Oh, look at this one. It's a different color altogether. Nick Ehlers. Color variant. It's, it's a color. It's, it's, it's a variant sure why they call it color variant. It has no color. Veteran, Anderson, Taves, Debrinket, Nurse. Nurse! It is a, like a, I don't know, it's the same finish. It's kind of a beige with a purpley hue. I don't know what color that is. Very plain. I mean, it, yeah, okay, well it's a color variant for Nick Eulers. We're just talking about Nick Ehlers. Here's a guy who's played his whole career for the Jets, and he gets no hobby love whatsoever. Does nobody even collect Nick Ehlers? I mean, I don't know if it's the Winnipeg franchise. They are a smaller market. There's lots of people in Winnipeg that collect them, but outside of the central Canadian region, there's not a lot of Jets collectors, is what my guess is. Mitchell Chaffee, rookie. We got Landeskog, we got Keller. Gray bordered. There's Bergen rookie. It's a short print. Yep, 313. Marchand. Campbell, Taves, and Kevin Hayes. And I don't know if it's guaranteed you're getting two rookies and two veterans per box, but the card's above 300. You're only going to get four altogether. And I've got three so far. Maybe it's not an even split of rookies and veterans, because my three are rookies. Well, let's carry on. We'll fix Wolanski. Dreisheitel. Cole Caulfield. Gray board. Rookie and veteran. Gray border. Cole Caulfield with a... That guy. <sighs> I mean... Yeah. He's not a bad guy to have for the hobby collector in me, but the Bruins... Ugh, I don't know, I'm a Maple Leafs fan, so I... Anti-Bruins. And again, the Habs, same, right? If you're a Leafs fan or a Habs fan, the Bruins are bad people. Except for Bobby Orr. He's cool. Maybe Phil Esposito. Brad Marshall. Yeah. I like the damn go better. All right, looks like I'm at least halfway through this box now. I lost count. So many packs. So many packs. There's the base, Caulfield, Zeeg. Gray Border, Lafontaine, rookie. Or another rainbow. Wierenski. There's J. Rob. Stoots, Sergeyev, and Line A. So three rainbows per box. My box has delivered three rainbows. Not sure if we're going to see another autograph. Just down to these few packs, but I see something shining through here. There's a Barzal Veteran. There's that jukebox. These are cool. Again, I like the die cut design when it when it does something. Hi Skinnin. Another guy who's played his whole career with Dallas. Doesn't get as much hobby love. Not sure if it's the Dallas market or just the fact that he's from Finland, not Canada or the United States. A lot of people in Finland collect, but I don't know. I say I, I know I just listed some high, a high skin and 
Young Guns PSA 10, and I was surprised at the value of the card. The horizontal inserts there, I think, were a little bit... Should have probably appreciated them more when they showed up. I don't know. Let's see. Carry on. They're, they are inserts. They're not part of the set, right? W, F, B. Yeah. All right, let's just stay focused here. I'm like, my mind's racing around as to what I've seen so far. And let's just get the job done here. Got two more veterans, Anderson and Darlene. Gray bordered. Bord Horvat. Bord Horvat back with the Canucks. My next mini, this time I got, oops. Bobby Bourne, the old veteran. So that's cool. Yeah, he's a, he's a good Parkers player. Veteran content, Bobby Bourne. Stanley Cup winner from... The 70s. Braden Point, Pavelski, Buddy Smith, and Peterson. So I'm pretty sure my veteran content, the last 25 cards, will be players like Bourne. So I, I don't think I have missed one yet. Dawson Mercer and Mark Stone. Swayman. Okay, another color variant of Matty Sogard this time. Short print. No, it's not a short print. It's just variant. Sammy, wrong team. Cousins, Lanner, and middle stop. Maddie Sogard, rookie. Color variant rookie. We'll put it up there with the veteran Ehlers. Bergeron. Walsh. Donato. Okay, that's a cool looking veteran. That's the rainbow it's a gold rainbow. It's not just a regular rainbow. It's a gold rainbow. Matt Numba. Paul. Puyu Yarvi. Colin White. And Burkowski. Down the last three packs here. Perhaps we've seen all the autographs. Let's see. I got three to go. Huberto. Castellic rookie. Zeeg. Gray. Another mini. Ronnie Hextall. Oh, look at the back of this one, though. Some sort of variation on that one. Not sure. I'll have to check up on the checklist. Because the back of these ones look totally different. They were blank. Yeah, the bubblegum back. Or the wax back. That's what the packs look like way back in the day. That's cool. Talbot, Ottinger, Barry, and Druin. Walteri Pustinen, Mayor Fiala, Lanny McDonald, Legend. So there we go. There's one of my SP Legends. And the fourth one in the box. 336, Lanny. Hope he gets better. I hear he's not well health-wise, but the mustache. Lanny McDonald, got Soderstrom, Suzuki, Kirkstrand, Connor Brown. I tell you, if it wasn't for the veteran content, I, I don't know if I'd even go after this product. I mean, I'm happy I got a nice young rookie autograph there. But this 22-23 checklist is so old. I mean, half the pictures, the guys are on the wrong team. It's a fun rip, though. They could say, I like the price. It's not too expensive for a 20-pack box. So, Raiden Schneider, last pack. Thanks for watching. If you didn't, please tap the like button. It really does help grow the channel. keeps it strong and promotes it to other people. There we go. Jonathan Quick. Got a rainbow parallel of Evan Rodriguez, uh, Elias Lindholm, Rob Thomas, Deno, and Bushnevich. Well, there you go. There is one hobby box destroyed of the new 2223 Parkhurst. I think overall my rating is, I'd give it out of a 10, maybe about a 7. I don't know. I was expecting a little bit more veteran content in the product. I mean, it's not a bad product at all. Just uh, a little too much 22-23-ish is the way I'd describe it. But I did get four SPs, one legend, three rookies. Bergren, Juracek, and Jack Quinn. Laney McDonald. A bunch of rookies. Again, these aren't short printed, so they're just more base cards, basically. Put them in the pile. The gray borders, one per pack. Well, it says one per two. Uh, it's one per pack. Out of the hobby. 
We've got one wire photo and one 50 flashback. Two of the die cut inserts, jukebox and a Tomorrow's Riches. Heisken and a Byfield. The numbered rookie was a cool little hit. Holmstrom. Islanders. Swede. And the two color variate variants. Mad Sogard and a Nick Ehlers. Rainbows, one of them was a gold. That number. Ehlers, just the regulars, but I got one. No rookies in my rainbows. They saved those for the color variant and red. But the big hit of the box, perhaps it was the X the hex doll. I don't know how rare the bubblegum backs are. But I think that was my best hit right there. One power defenseman locked in for eight years with the Buffalo Sabres. They are going to improve each year, is my opinion of what they're going to do. But probably rip at least one more box of this. We'll see. The price is just right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Keep on collecting.